In April, I'll be running Marathon de Sables, which is uh, dubbed by the Discovery Channel as the toughest foot race on earth. It's 150 miles through the Sahara Desert over six days. That's the equivalent of a marathon a day, except for that one day you have to do a double marathon. So I need to get plenty of running in, and because it's British winter and it's dark early, and having to go to work all day, and um, doing lots of running in the evenings in the dark. So finish work, and get the head torch on, and then. Um, get out for a run. How is this sort of training going to help you in the desert? Uh, mental toughness, that's all I can think really. Certainly not going to be cold and wet in the desert is it, but I'll get used to um, running in more extreme conditions. Nearly seven years ago, I lost my dad to a condition called Adult Respiratory Distress Syndrome. He spent the last few weeks of his life in intensive care, and despite everything, they, they tried everything, they didn't manage to save him. Um, two and a half years later, my boyfriend's mum ended up in intensive care with Legionnaire's disease, and again, they did everything they could, and this time there was more equipment, different equipment available, and they saved her life, and now she's doing amazingly well, and in a complete recovery. And just seeing the difference in sort of facilities and things that are available in those two and a half years, so we realise how important it is to the research the Intensive Care Foundation do to help improve in care. progress up until the day on the my blog which is one step at a time blog.com and then once I'm in the Sahara Desert you will be able to track me on the website and also you can send me emails every day because they'll bring they'll print them out and bring them round to the tent each night so please don't buy anything that'll make me cry but I'd love to hear from everybody and your messages of support.